All right, Blitzers, we've got Rene in the Kronwagenen Canal. This is the Battle Pass competition. Um, I, you know, as, if any of you have been around the clan a while, you know I call Rene Rambo um, for a lot of reasons, but mainly because his, a lot of his games, Rene is the master of getting to an aggressive position and just doing a tremendous amount of damage. And I, I love playing with him because I, I do that a lot. I also love watching him play. I think a lot of um, extremely good players do not play the game like Rene does. They play very conservatively and they know when to, to get shots and damage. Rene plays very aggressively and he does the same thing. Um, he's probably the best player that I play with that also dies um, <laughs> commonly. But in the process, he does usually unloads a torrent of damage and does not die in this game. So Rene is pushing um, the, right into the middle of the canal in a spot that I honestly don't use. I, I need to reconsider this based on this game. And he, the reason I'm going to reconsider it is you can see all the position that Rene opens up by going right there in the middle initially. And then he crosses over the, the middle the middle of the canal ditch there um, to go put some power. Now he's got a Kronwagen. So lower DPM, but a killer turret. And <clears throat> what's better for poking out, you know, into the canal or out of that canal with a turret like the Kronwagen and the ability to unload an awful lot of damage uh, pretty darn quickly. So Rene continues on here. It's seven on six. Um, enemy team is kind of just in the spawn, it looks like. And there is the Jaegeru that Rene was probably looking for. Gets one into him, two into him. Oh, what a unfortunate bounce. Can you get this one right in the track? And boom. One of the beautiful things about the Kronwagen is it's got a fantastic dispersion. Uh, for the tank and and it bounces look at that beautiful bounce there comes the is7 finally i don't know what that guy was doing for the last couple minutes um renee tries to get one more sneaky shot in there uh but does not get in, that into the Igaru. um and he does push right um and he's trying to find more i mean it's amazing how few of their enemies are spotted and the reason for it is renee's medium did not go to the traditional medium area and allowed the enemies to kind of go over the top where the traditional I think C cap is. So that has made the game a little bit more awkward than the kind of the normal way Canal is played. Um, but it, it's made for, made for a lot of opportunities for an A. And then these three guys, their Kron, their, their uh, M48, and their IS-7 are just kind of slammed there. So they all get spotted and Rene gets to unload a clip on them as they cross. It does take fire from, looks like that Type 61, potentially. Um, and that, the, F, the Death Star on Rene's team um, is now in big trouble because of that three tank push that Rene was, was shooting at them. Rene's team is also really scattered. And this is a big map. Canal is a, is a large map. So, you know, it, it's less than ideal. And I think those threesome are pushing really hard over there to the 183. Rene uses the crack speed boost, the ultra speed boost to get through the canal and try to help the standard B. Um, interestingly enough, the 183 and Rene's team is still alive, which is strange. Um, but both TDs from Renee's, uh, Renee's team are over there kind of where the traditional A cap is and um, allowing Renee to chase this t Type 61 around the map. Um, and also their Type, oh, what is that over there? Uh, type 61 for sure. I'm trying to get a look at that other tank. It looks like it is an E50. Um, so kind of an odd, odd matchup, but Renee is making the best of it here and pushing with his, his teammates there on the E50 and the Type 61. I'm um, trying to conserve his HP to the extent that he can. He's got plenty left, but it can go quick in these tiers. Rene hits that uh, Titan 61 very hard with high explosive and finishes him off. Takes a couple of shots, uh, still 1300 HP left, and they are pushing hard here. Rene um, getting ready to probably use that crack speed boost again. You can see the IS-7 and the enemy team is in a position where Rene may be able to get a shot on it. Um, the E50 is crossing through the canal. He's going to be in there for a while. And let's see how many Rene can get into him. There was one. And uh, he's using the zoom here. I, I thought Rene has the ridicule calibration. Probably don't need it. Um, that does make it very, very good for the Kronwagen to be able to snipe from a distance when you have that reticle calibrated calibration uh, ability. And that's that third consumable he has there on the right. For those of you who don't use it, I don't like it. I always forget to use it. And... Um, Honestly, in a Kronwagen, I'm very rarely at a spot where I need to zoom in that much. Rene hits the crack speed boost again. He's already, he's at 5,583 damage. Rene, I don't know how you do it, but you always make it seem so easy. Um, and uh, 1,850 blocked. He is pushing up this hill. The Kronwagen does move, but man, it not just not that fast. And uh, 
that speed boost helps. Rene, of course, bounces another shot from the M48, slaps a hard one into their Kronwagen, has one more in the chamber, sticks it in the side of the turret. He's a 6,700 damage already, just like that. And I think it comes down to Rene just, just keeps hitting shots. I mean, just landing shot after shot after shot of, you know, and it's uh, there's a good zoom to clear off that uh, M48. It's now a four on one, game's over. <clears throat> Rene is trying to charge to 7K. I think he comes up just a tad short, but really well played there. Um, I love the initial positioning and then the charge across the canal. Uh, really good work there, keeping the team together, the ones that mattered anyway, for the big win. Um, unfortunately for Rene, he couldn't get to the 7K. I bet he was trying to, um, but it was nonetheless an excellent game. So um, overall, I, I think this was a really good one. Uh, big mastery, 6,800 damage, 1693 base XP. Um, just killed the whole team. Great job, Renee. Thanks for submitting for your submission and um, have a great day.